guys, I want to welcome you to the weekly Wednesday for the Financial Freedom Newsletter, where every week, every Wednesday, we delve into something inspirational, motivational, something excerpt taken from the Financial Freedom Weekly Newsletter. Wherever you are, if you're listening on Spotify, on iTunes, Google, be sure to click the like, subscribe, share, comment. Without ado, let's get into the show. Hey, Dr. Lou, how are you? Hi, Darren, right? How are you doing? Hey, doing good, doing good. How are you? Good, good. Uh, sorry for the confusion. I think the other guest also, uh, you're maybe on East Coast time, maybe I'm assuming. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So yeah, but but it, it, yeah, you definitely want to check your system because if you look in our messages, uh-huh. like it shows above you, Darren scheduled at 2.30 Eastern. Uh-huh. Yeah. So it's so it's messing up the schedule somehow. Just for yeah. your, your future records. Yeah, I'll take a look at that. I've had been having some scheduling issues, and um, it's kind of I know it's frustrating for. Um, but uh, yeah, thanks for coming on to the podcast. Do you have any questions or anything before we get started? Or no, I mean, I mean, just what what's the best way I can serve you and your audience? Yeah. So um, I'm. So my audience is uh, high income professionals and uh, looking to start a business, become entrepreneurs, digital marketing. And so, you know, my my guests range from, you know, entrepreneurs, investors, real estate to um, to digital marketers, uh, business growth, personal development. So, you know, we cover all of those topics. Um, and, Perfect. OK. Yeah. yeah. Now, now you go to uh, you went to Baylor. Uh, well, you mean for undergrad or medical school or. Well, I just saw on like your LinkedIn, it said you went to Baylor. Yeah, I, I went to Baylor for medical school. So that's down in Houston. But uh, there is a there is a Baylor in Waco, which is a university. It's like a it's like an undergraduate, I think. So but yeah, well, well uh, a billionaire mentor of mine um, was from that area and he donated the Paul J. Meyer Dome uh-huh. at the university. Yeah. Oh, OK, so nice, nice. Yeah, but awesome. man. Yeah, no, I'm ready to ready okay. to help you in any way that I can. All right, excellent, excellent. All right, I'm gonna get and, and you go by Doctor Lou. Is that am I pronouncing that correctly? Uh, just call me Chris. Call me Chris. Chris is fine. Chris. Okay, got okay. it. And uh, all right, <clears throat> welcome everybody to this week's podcast episode for the Financial Freedom Podcast. I'm your host, Doctor Christopher Lou. As you know, we talk about four different types of freedom: time, financial, location, health, freedom. In that light, I'm always scouring the globe for entrepreneurs, people on the cutting edge, doing amazing things, influencers. And so today's talk is going to be all about success, overcoming challenges, business growth, mindset, entrepreneurship. So to, we have Darren Kidd, and he helps entrepreneurs increase performance, productivity, and profit. So we're going to hear all about his story, amazing story. I love talking mindset. And uh, so Darren, welcome. Hey, Chris. Thanks for having me. Appreciate yeah. you. I'm really happy to ring in the new year and um, connect with like-minded individuals. Um, tell us more about yourself, your business, and how you got started. Yeah. So first of all, thanks for having me and congratulations on all the great things you're doing as, as I researched you and, and uh, you know, I, I know that everyone knows all the value that you're bringing, but I appreciate the time and the opportunity. And uh, yeah, so I mean, I, I'm excited too, to kick off the new year. It's always a great time to kind of evaluate where we are and, you know, set those new goals and all that good stuff. And (laughs) so for me, you know, it was, uh, it's interesting because you've got this amazing, you know, degree behind you. And I know a lot of your listeners do as well. I've got a little different story, you know, Mm. um, 20, 25 years ago, I was bankrupt Mm. and my car had been repossessed and we were on, you know, government assistance. And I was a college dropout living in a small town in Virginia and uh and really depressed i went to the doctor for depression and didn't have a lot of hope but very for i was very fortunate to have and blessed to have some people come into my life that looked at me not as how i was but how i could be with my god-given potential and that changed everything yeah and tell us it's amazing journey because um you know we've all had our fair shares of uh, setbacks and challenges um and so we'll go into it uh one is uh, just talking about your overall ideas of success um it, you know is it a stepwise fashion is it a peaks and valleys tell us your perspective yeah okay that's a that's a great question so yeah let me let me take you back 
25 years ago when I walked into my bedroom and I, I locked the door behind me. Uh, my wife and I, we now have five kids from almost 30 down to 14. And so for all of you that are parents, uh, you know what it's like when you have kids, you have to kind of lock yourself in a bedroom sometimes just to get away from kids. But I walked in the bedroom, forgot to lock the door, walked over to our closet, and I pulled out this big Coca-Cola plastic piggy bank. And I told my daughter, I'm like, someday we'll go to Disney World. And, you know, I, I know a lot of us, we've, our family, we heard that growing up, right? Someday we'll go do this and someday we'll go do that. Mm. And I learned that someday leads to a town called nowhere, mm. but also learned that if we do the right things, some people, some days are other people's every days. And mm. so it was that day that I was dragging this piggy bank out of the closet and I had it on the floor and I'm going through the change just to get enough to get some milk, some bread. You know, and my daughter walked in, sees me taking that money and then for Disney and runs out crying and slams the door behind her. And I remember being on my knees going, man, God, how could I get this low? Being bankrupt, college dropout, can't keep a job, depressed, can't support my wife, can't feed my kids. Like what, what, how much hope do I have? Mm. And that was the moment, you know, Chris, I think sometimes we have to get that moment where it hurts bad enough. And it's like the farmer that was on the porch in his rocking chair and this neighbor's walking by and he said, hey, mister, your dog, I can see him. He's laying under the porch, but he's he's laying on a nail. And he's like, and the farmer goes, hey, don't worry about it. When it hurts bad enough, he'll move. Mm. And so that's when I said, you know what? I've had it. I am sick and tired of being sick and tired. And I got up off the floor, walked into the other room and wrote on the wall, I will until I wrote on a three and a half by five index card, which is the, the title of my book. I will until, and mm -hmm. at that point I go, I want a better life. I want this. I want that. Well, want is a weak word. And so when I changed it to, I will, you know, until <laughs> then everything started to change. So from that point, um, I went out and over, you know, the last, oh my gosh, I'll be 50 in March. So 25 years I've invested multiple six figures in my education. I grow every single day. I spend at least a couple hours every single day growing and, you know, have mentors and thousands of books and audio programs and events all over the world and making tons of mistakes. And that's what took me on a journey to, you know, build organizations that did hundreds of millions in revenue and generate a lot of income and help a lot of people. And, and so my story inspires and motivates people because they know, hey, if Darren Kidd can do it, I can do it. Mm. Does that make sense? Yeah. Interesting. Um, you know, a lot of people listening to this podcast, they may be uh, in the same position, you know, down, you know, especially 20, you know, the last couple of years. Um, what are, what words of in encouragement do you have, you know, because how long does it take? And, you know, every day you, you take little steps, but you never see anything. Um, what words of encouragement do you have for them? Yeah. So, so like many of you that are listening or watching, you know, some of you are at where I was. You're like, hey, man, look, you know what? I am just sick of being where I am. And that could be maybe you're financially strapped or it could be, hey, look, I'm generating decent income or really good income, but yet I'm not enjoying my life. Like mm -hmm. I'm not happy. Or maybe some of you, you've hit a high income level, but you know that, you know, we, we you, there's more in you. We're not living to our full potential. And that's really my desire. I know we created for success, but the world tries to program us for failure. You know, mm -hmm. every day we're told more about our limitations and our possibilities. Mm -hmm. And so when you, so, so my challenge to each and every one of you going into 2023, here's the thing I'm involved in some, I spoke at a group uh, for a mastermind for Dr. Fab Mancini, you know, a few months ago. And, you know, they say he's the next Dr. Phil. He's a great friend of mine. And uh, there's about 80 plus entrepreneurs in the room. You know, one guy, his company has done over, I think, over 30 billion. And so very influential people, a lot of money. I'm involved in some masterminds with people that are worth, you know, 700 million and on. All of them are saying the same thing. Like we're getting ready to experience some of the most challenging times of our life. However, they look at it a little differently. Hey, look, the biggest transfer of wealth happens during a recession, during a depression, and during wars. We've got them all going on. There'll be more people that need you know, so we have, they're looking for help, looking for a way out. And a lot of the, like we know, a lot of the great companies came from those times where we had the 2008 and so on and so forth, right? Mm -hmm. But the same version that got us to where we are is not the same version that gets us to the next level. Mm -hmm. So I do the same version of Darren Kidd that got me to where I am. 
is not the same version that's going to get me to the next level. It's going to take a new, new thinking and new behaviors and skills. And, and knowing that, right, that anything that we ever achieve and we win, we achieve and win in our head first. So it all starts right between our ears. And so when, when I was looking at all of these things, I was going, man, they must have a college education. I have a lack of education 25 years ago. I go, they must come from a big city. I live in a small town. They must be great public speakers. I'll pass out in front of five people at that time. So Chris, I would have a panic attack if I knew I had to speak in front of five people that I knew. If you maybe get in front of the room, no one would have ever, I would have never believed you if you would have said, hey, Darren, you're going to be speaking in front of 25,000 people, you know, places all over the world and loving it, right? I would have said, you're crazy. But what I had to do, I made the decision. I heard a speaker say this, can you get a little bit better today than you were yesterday? Mm. And I'm like, I can do that. Because they're like, Darren, you don't make what you want, you make what you are. And if you want to make more, you have to become more. And so for me, that I was a little overwhelmed. But when they broke it down into, hey, look, let's just focus on doing the right activities. If 10 pages out of a good book a day, that's about a book a month. Most people don't read a book a year. So in 10 years, you've read 100. Most people hadn't read 10. You know, listening to a great program like your podcast, Chris, you know, listen to that, getting little golden nuggets from people that have been out there. There's two ways to achieve success. One, you can go spend 25 years, 10 years, 20, 30 years, multiple six figures, make a ton of mistakes, or you could hire someone else and pay for their experiences. You can shorten that learning curve. You can compress time frames and leapfrog and get to where you want to be a lot sooner than later. So knowing that I didn't make what I want, I make what I am. Knowing that if I wanted to get somewhere, I wanted to find someone that has what I want and model what they do. You know, and, and Chris, you and I both know I've invested. I now hired one of the top um, YouTubers earlier this year who I hired multiple times before, paid him thousands of dollars for a few hours virtually. And still people go, that's crazy. Why would you do that? And I'm like, why would I not do that? I don't want to spend a decade trying to figure out what he knows when I can hire him and shorten that learning curve. So yeah, focus on getting a little bit better every day, understanding that we're growing or declining, like maintaining is a myth. We're climbing or sliding, find people that have what you want, invest in yourself, because I know you're in the investment world, right? People go, what's the best investment? I can tell you what the invest best investment is. It's you. Because you take you with you everywhere you go. So those are some tips that I would encourage everybody to keep in the forefront of your mind as we launch into the new year um, that will make a massive difference in your business and they compound. Mm -hmm. So doing this today, jumping on here today, listening to one podcast, not going to change your life overnight. We can't change your life overnight, but we can change the direction of our life overnight. And then the compound effect of little things daily but here's the crazy thing, Chris. They seem to make no difference at all in the act of doing them, right? Mm -hmm. I've got whole, I've got rituals and habits that I do every day. Like I'll be 50 years old in March. I feel better than I did in my 20s. So mm -hmm. every 25 minutes, I use the Pomodoro method. I'm doing push-ups and air squats, and it, I don't feel like a different person today. But compounded over the last several months, along with my workouts and everything else, I've done thousands of additional push-ups and things like that. So those are a few tips. Yeah. And then uh, a lot of the guests on the podcast, they're the readers and, you know, they're hungry for knowledge. Uh, what are some books or tapes or resources that you helped you on your journey? Yeah, I mean, there there are quite a few and it all depends on, you know, everybody has, you have people that you relate to them in, in the way they teach. So for me, I learned from a billionaire, I was telling you this right before we started, the late billionaire, Paul J. Meyer. He's probably the one that's made the biggest impact in my life. And Paul Meyer from Salado, Texas, you know, he was uh, at 19, he was fired, you know, from like 20 different sales positions mm. because he, he had a speech impediment. He was an immigrant. He had a speech impediment. And they're like, hey, listen, you really need to think about a different career path. <laughs> you mm. can't speak properly. Mm. By 26, one of the highest paid insurance agents in the world. Mm. Then he went on to create, build 40 companies in 60 countries that did billion. Mm -hmm. He paid for a thousand kids a year to go to college. So at Baylor, they're in, in Waco, there's the Paul J. Meyer Dome. He'd given away when I was with him, 400 million to charity. 
And I know you're in the investment world. I was in his office one time and he's like, Darren, let me show you something between you and I. And uh, it's been long enough now and he's not here anymore, but he turned his computer screen to me. Just one of his investments that day was worth $99 million, just one. And so he made a huge impact in my life. And when I was having dinner with John Maxwell to see, I think it was like two or three Christmases ago. And I mentioned to John, hey, one of my mentors had great things to say about you. And when I mentioned Paul Meyer, John stopped the whole table. And he's like, let me tell you something. Because see, John got started because of Paul Meyer. Mm. The day reading his books, John goes, a, a, a person approached him and go, what is your personal plan for growth? And John Maxwell goes, I don't have one. Well, that person was presenting a Paul Meyer goal setting program. And so then John sacrificed meals and vacations and saved the money to buy that program. So Paul J. Meyer had a huge impact in my life. Then, you know, obviously the ones think and grow rich and Robert Kiyosaki, um, Mm -hmm. but I consume content on a daily basis. And then, yeah, so I I would pick depending on what area you're in, because I know you deal with a lot of physicians and stuff like that as well. And I got, I've got people that I work with and I coach their physicians, but you know, they went to school for that, not to really market and, and things like that, but find someone that has what you want and then listen to their podcasts, read their books mm-hmm. and be very intentional about who you associate with. Mm. It's one of my top tips for the new year because your associations are like an elevator. They lift you up or they bring you down. Mm-hmm. So we have to ask yourself, what are my associations doing to me? Or what are they doing for me? Mm-hmm. And you show me your closest circle, I will show you your future. When you get around, and again, it's about being intentional because when you're in the same circle all the time, we can be like mentally handcuffed or enslaved and not even know it. So what I do is I seek out, and a lot of times, guess what? I'm having to pay a lot of money to for masterminds and different programs where I get around people that make me nervous, mm. right? They think so big. They're, they have urgency, you know, and so when you get around those people, it changes your identity. Mm-hmm. You know, it raises that internal uh, glass lid in our own head and you start to think bigger and you start to ask different questions. And yeah. and so it just it's like Roger Bannister, the four minute mile. So, yeah, be very intentional about your associations in, in 2023. Read, find people that have what you want, because if we buy their opinion, we buy their lifestyle. So they don't have what we want. Why do we listen to them? So for those of you that are listening, you can't see, but I'm hair challenged. I have no hair. I'm bald, right? But those that can see, you're not going to call me and go, Darren, give me your top hair care tips. (laughs) It's not going to happen. So be very careful who you associate with and be intentional and then limit who you spend time with in 2023. So I'm making sure I have the right people in my life. And some people I'm spending less time with understanding that who I hang around is who I become. Hmm. Fascinating. That's actually very, one of the best um things advice you can give is your network. And again, uh, I like the question that you do. What are your association doing to me or or for me? You know, and um, you know, it's and also to think bigger and get make yourself uncomfortable and challenge yourself to grow. I, I love this. I always love talking to people with big goals and dreams, and then um, and then. Tell us about uh, so you you help entrepreneurs increase performance, productivity, profits. Um, tell us more how you know the people interested can follow you. It looks like you're on all, all the social media outlets and website, etc. Yeah, so so my new book is called I Will Until. So I will until.com, which that's that's here. It's 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 the type of book I like to read. It's short, snackable content. Um, I tell people I've got. ADD, ADHD, ADT, I got them all. Um, so I, I, I wanted to put something that's just short, snackable content. But if they go to IWillUntil.com, they can learn more about me. They can reach out to me. Uh, but basically, my background was, you know, for I had franchises for a period of time that hmm. did really well. I did online and e-commerce things. Um, for 28 years, I used to be, I'm no longer in the, you know, network marketing, you know, direct sales world. And so I've had a wide range of business experience. And then I've been around a lot of people all over the world, which has really helped me um, get to where I am today. And so when I stepped away from sold the franchises 
out of the direct sales, the network marketing space, um, and really just started laser focusing on, hey, listen, I want to be the person that I wish that I would I would have had, hmm. you know, 20, 30 years ago, because I can only imagine where I would be. So for me, you know, being newer in that space, yeah, I've got doctors that I'm working with. I've got companies that I'm working with. We're really ramping up my speaking career. Um, just got listed on uh, Grant Cardone and Pete Vargas, their 10X stages. Um, also just got listed with success on their speaking bureau. So yeah, reach out to me if you're looking to increase, you know, performance, productivity, and profits. I'd love to have a conversation and just see if if we're a good fit. And if not, no big deal. You know, I, I, I know that if I increase my network, if you increase your network, we increase our net worth. Mm. And it's all about relationships. And so when I go into, even just like this, Chris, you know, I come on here not really expecting anything. I, I you know, For me, I'm like, how can I serve you? How can I serve the people that will be listening and watching, knowing that there are people out there right now, you may be praying for something. Like you may be going, hey, you know what? I'm making a lot of money, but I don't feel fulfilled. You know, I'm not happy. And I'm speaking, I'm working with some people, they're worth a lot of money, but they're not happy. Mm-hmm. So I believe that you can have it all if you do the right things. Yeah. Fascinating discussion. Very passionate. Um, you know, I really enjoyed this conversation. For all the listeners out there, you know, he, there's these golden nuggets that uh, Darren's providing. Be sure to follow him on all of his social media, um, YouTube, Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, uh, LinkedIn, as well as his um uh, his website, I will until check out his book as well as on, probably on Amazon. And um, I'm going to check it out as well. And with that, thanks for a fantastic conversation. Thank you so much, Chris. Appreciate you. Let's go crush 2023. I hope you really enjoyed that wonderful, inspirational, motivational piece. Again, if you, wherever you are listening, if you liked it, be sure to like comment, share, subscribe. We're on everywhere. Spotify, iTunes, Google, Amazon, Audible. And without much ado, be sure to thank this show's sponsors and we'll see you next week.